In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called complex fraction made of sums involving rational expressions, problem type 3. We're given this complex fraction to simplify, and we see that we have fractions in the numerator, fractions in the denominator. So to remove those fractions, I need to identify the lowest common denominator in the numerator and the lowest common denominator in the denominator portion of this complex fraction. So we're looking at all of these denominators that are a part of the complex fraction. And of all of these, the lowest common denominator for everything is 5x that has both the 5 and the x. So I can multiply this numerator by 5x as long as I also multiply the denominator by 5x. So in effect, we're multiplying by 5x over 5x. We're multiplying by 1, so that doesn't change our fraction. But when we distribute these 5x's, we can see that that's going to cancel all of the denominators in the top and the bottom. Writing that out, we can see we have 5x times 4 over 5, and then a negative 5x times 4 over x. This is our new numerator. In the denominator, when we distribute, we have 5x times x, so 5x squared over 5, and then 5x times a negative 5 over x. And this is where we can see the advantage of multiplying by that lowest common denominator, because in this first fraction, the 5's cancel. In the second fraction, the x's cancel. In the denominator, the 5's cancel. And then for the second fraction in the denominator, the x's cancel. So simplifying here, we have x times 4, or 4x, minus 5 times 4, so minus 20, over an x squared, minus 5 times 5, so a minus 25. So we've come a long way, we've simplified the complex fraction. However, we should always simplify as much as possible. And I notice that both this new numerator and the new denominator are both factorable. And so it may be that some of those factors will cancel. Looking first at this numerator, I can see a common factor of 4. So I can factor out the 4 from both terms, leaving me with just an x in the first term and a minus 5, factoring the 4 out of 20. And we could check this by distributing the 4 back out to see that we get back to this numerator. And then in the denominator, x squared minus 25 is the difference of two squares. That is the same as x squared minus 5 squared, which would factor as an x plus 5 times an x minus 5, and now we can see that the x minus 5 in the numerator and the x minus 5 in the denominator also cancel, so that our fully simplified fraction has only the 4 in the numerator and an x plus 5 in the denominator in its simplest form. 